Hi everyone, I'm so glad you're here today. Do you guys like free stuff? No one hates free things, right? If you want to attract a crowd today, put up a sign that says free. It will definitely work. What's more, if what people really want is provided for free, many people will even struggle to get it. Today's title is Not Just Loaves and Fishes, But Bread from Heaven. The Bible verse is found in John 6:35. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Countless people followed Jesus because they saw the miracles he did to heal the sick. On that day, so many people wanted to hear Jesus preach that they followed him even to a remote location. When evening came, the disciples began to wonder how all of these people were going to eat. Jesus already decided what he was going to do, but he asked Philip, one of his disciples, this question. Philip, where are we going to buy bread for all of these people? Philip answered, I would have to work for eight months to earn enough money to feed this crowd. Do you think Jesus liked Philip's answer? Hmm, not really. Philip had seen many other miracles that Jesus had done, so Philip could have asked Jesus what to do by trusting him rather than calculating the money to buy food for the large crowd. But sadly, he didn't. He should have remembered that everything is possible with Jesus. But then another disciple, Andrew, found one boy in the crowd who brought his lunch. The boy had two small fish and five small loaves of bread. Andrew did not know how this small amount would feed thousands of people, but he took the food to Jesus anyway. He thought Jesus could probably do something with this little lunch. What do you think Jesus can do with this little lunch of the boy? Jesus prayed to God to thank him for the food, and then he began handing bread and fish to people. Jesus began with only two fish and five loaves of bread, but every time he handed it to someone, more bread and fish would appear. Jesus gave bread and fish to everyone in the whole crowd. Everyone ate bread and fish until they were full, and the leftover bread was enough to fill 12 baskets full. Jesus fed over 5,000 people from two little fish and five small loaves of bread. No human being could do a miracle like that. Only Jesus could, because he is Almighty God. It was an amazing miracle, and everyone felt satisfied. The crowds really liked the miracle that he performed when he gave everyone free food. So the people planned to come and take Jesus by force and make him their king. If Jesus becomes our king, we will be able to eat free food every day for the rest of our lives. Uh-oh. Did Jesus like that? No. Jesus and his disciples then left the crowds and crossed over the Sea of Galilee. The next day, the crowds came back looking for Jesus. They looked in the countryside area where Jesus had performed the miracle, but they couldn't find Jesus there. Then someone said, We saw the disciples cross the lake by boat. Maybe Jesus also crossed the lake. So the crowd went off looking for Jesus. They piled into boats and they rowed and rowed. They crossed over the Sea of Galilee to a town called Capernaum, and there they eventually found Jesus. When they found Jesus, they said to him, Jesus, we've been looking all over for you. When did you get here? And Jesus said to them, You've been looking for me very hard, but not because you wanted to know and believe in me. It's only because you're hoping I'm going to give you free food again. You need to believe in me. John 6:26. Then the people said, 
If you give us food again, maybe then we will believe. Wow, is that cheeky or what? So Jesus said to them, You need bread from heaven that will feed your spirits, not bread to feed your stomachs. And they said, Give us this bread from heaven. Then Jesus said something very important. He told them that God has given them this bread. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. John 6, 35. Wow, what does that mean? It means that just as bread sustains us and helps keep us alive, Jesus gives us life and he sustains us to live with God on earth and even forever when we leave this world. If you were on a desert island and bread fell from heaven, wouldn't you wonder where it came from? Well, God the Father sent Jesus to us like bread from heaven. The crowds weren't interested in knowing Jesus or where he came from. They only wanted Jesus to give them free food. How sad would he be if we only liked the gift he gave us and didn't even care about him? Jesus wants us to know him. If a person refuses to eat food, he will die physically. But anyone who refuses to know Jesus will remain dead to God, separated from him forever. No snack or food will ever truly satisfy us. Animals are satisfied when their stomachs are full, but we are different from animals. If we were satisfied with being full like animals, oh, what a low level we would be. We were created in the image of God. The Creator God made us in His own image. Jesus says, Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Jesus knows what makes us completely satisfied forever because He made us. Yes, He can satisfy us because He alone can bring us back to God. Jesus fully satisfies those who depend on him. Jesus Christ is the only one who can make us acceptable to God and give us eternal life. What about you? Are you hungry for the food that Jesus wants to give? Food that lasts forever? Jesus is the bread of life that fully satisfies us by bringing us back to God. Only God can supply it and we can only receive it by trusting him. Let's pray. Dear Lord, you are a miracle worker. You fed over 5,000 people with just two fish and five small loaves of bread. We are hungry for the food you have to give, the bread of life. It is the only thing that will truly satisfy us. Thank you for giving it to us when we trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have a great week, everyone, and we'll see you all next time. Goodbye.